All right, here's my Nexus 4 unboxing video. Just arrived in the door. Finally, after two weeks of waiting. So, surprisingly little padding inside this, so hopefully it's all right. Just the box and this thin sheet of bubble wrap, so hopefully it's not been smashed in delivery. the box uh, that is nice let's just see it is marked as the 16 gig so that's correct just make sure you can see that that's a nice looking box very light it was very it was very big in the hand but it feels light so that's, that's nice and it's got this nice black back and I see no cracks scratches now right, let's see what else is in the box should be probably we we'll have a quick start guide not gonna read that USB to micro USB lead, just standard. Okay, and just the plug charger. Okay, so let's get that out of its plastic. Okay, so this appears to be the power button on the front right. First of all, I'm just going to peel off this plastic on the front and leave it on the back just for, just for a little while. There we go. And let's power on. And a little bit of haptic feedback lets you know it's powering up. Google logo. Nexus logo. Everything in order so far. Another bit of haptic feedback. And there we are, so we're into the setup screen. So I'm gonna quickly set this up. Okay, so we're gonna go to YouTube here and we're gonna try out some videos to see how they look. Try out some HD video. So here's some tennis, that's how the YouTube interface looks in uh, portrait. And now if we go to landscape, fills the whole screen. Looks very nice. Okay, and let's try let's try something more cinematic. Let's try the Hobbit trailer in 720p. So we'll go into this. Now something to note, you have these on-screen buttons here which take up some of the screen real estate of the 4.7 inches, but when you go and do a full screen video. They disappear, so we actually get the full screen. That looks really nice. It's very, very sharp. Very clear. Beautiful colors. I'm very pleased with that. And lastly, let's try some Google now. So, so let's try, what's the weather in Dublin? It's seven degrees with light rain in Dublin. Okay, very nice. Uh, let's try something else. What date is Easter in 2013? Easter Sunday is on Sunday, March 31st, 2013. Okay, very nice. Show me pictures of Google Nexus 4. Yeah, 
that's very nice. Pop into one of those. And we'll go into the image view mode. Holiday snaps of mine. Again, it's on the lowest brightness, so you're not getting the proper sort of color saturation, but um, it still looks really, really nice. Now the scrolling is a little bit, the pinch to zoom is a little bit unresponsive in this app as well. These photos are not from the Nexus 4, so let's not, let's not uh, judge it on those. We'll take some later. Let's come out of the gallery. And uh, let's try let's try a game. Just just to finish up, let's try a, a game. So, so I've downloaded a new release, uh, Vice City. Now that took a while to download because it has about <clears throat> one and a half gigs of extra data, but it all it all downloads pretty pretty easily. Let's have a look at this. Skip on through that. One thing you'll notice is the on-screen buttons don't actually disappear while you're playing a game, or at least with this game, so that might be a little annoying, but it's no biggie. Okay, so let's, let's get right into the gameplay and see how it runs. I haven't tried this yet, so it could be buggy, it could be glitchy, I haven't tried it at all. Start game. New game. So you can see <clears throat> you can see up in the top corner here there's a little arrow so we're going to use that to skip through the cutscene just for now. It's running pretty nicely. Textures are okay. Looking pretty decent. Now I know within this game there are a bunch of different graphics settings so if it doesn't look, look good at first you can tweak things and change textures, change draw distance, stuff like that, so let's have a look. Right. And here we are. Controls pretty smoothly, pretty responsively. Let's uh, let's jump in a car. See what the driving's like. There's the obligatory crash that every phone review has in a driving game. Yeah, so it looks pretty good. I haven't tweaked any of the settings yet, but I'm just just running it out of the box and it looks really nice. And yeah, it's pretty awkward to try at this angle, so I'm not Really playing it properly, but uh, it certainly it certainly plays well. A bit of a J turn for you there. Not a successful one, but. Oh, and the cops are on our tail, and that's probably as good a place as any to leave this. Alright, so that's Grand Theft Auto running on the Nexus 4. Uh, it looks pretty nice. 